Hello everyone, this is Fabric and you read the title. I'm going to show you how to create a GitHub repository in 2021 using a MacBook computer. So the first thing we have to do is go ahead to the GitHub site and at the top right of the screen there's a plus icon. Click the plus icon and press new repository. And then once you get here, all you want to do is go ahead and add a name. For now, I'm just going to do my repository. And for the description, I'm just going to put tutorial. And then come down here and press create repository once it creates we see the whole bunch of stuff down here and we're gonna have to go to the terminal so to get to the terminal just go ahead and press f4 and then type terminal and then this will pop up what you do is just go ahead and press this so once you've got your terminal open you should see a whole bunch of text um, i have mine simplified down so it just shows this little icon right here and the first thing we're gonna have to do is actually make the directory that we want our repository to connect to and before we continue on i just want to say a directory is the exact same as a folder a directory is basically just the basis of what people used to define as folders before computers got all fancy and we started naming them folders and stuff but for the sake of the video i'm going to be calling folders directories so that's what we'll be referring to folders as so yeah the first thing we're gonna have to do is run a command in here that says mkdir which stands for make directory and put a quotation mark and i'm just going to put my directory and then let's put another quotation mark and then press enter and then if you do ls and now that as you can see right there we have something called my directory if you just go ahead and do cd and then my directory and then we press enter we are now inside of that directory so if we do ls as you can see there's nothing inside of this directory now it's going to show a lot more info for you but it, does, it doesn't show that info for me because i did a simple command to hide all my name and stuff all, all the personal info so yeah so now we're inside of the directory all we have to do is do git space init which stands for git initialize and then press enter now it did work for me Im immediately but for you something should have popped up on the screen that said install and you are going to have to install the latest developer tools for the github so um yeah go ahead and press that and it's required for you to actually have github set up on your machine so just press that and then go eat lunch or something it's going to take a while and i'm pretty sure it stays on your screen but when you're done with that come back and we'll continue working on the tutorial all right, welcome back. Hopefully you've got the GitHub installed. Um, now all we have to do just for to the GitHub initialization, we're going to do touch space test. And now we have a test object in here. And if you want to see it, as you can see, if you just do LS, we see something in here called test. And now that we have something in here called test, we can actually sync it up to our repository in the GitHub. So if you just go ahead and do GIT space status, and then we press enter. As you can see, we have a new file in here that wants to be added to. So if we go ahead and do git space add, and we do test, and then you can see if we do git status again, we have a new file in here and it's green this time and it says test. So now that what we have to do is do git space commit, and then do dash m and put a quotation mark. And let's, let's go ahead and do uh, first commit. And then press enter and now as you can see if we do git status we don't have anything that is in the directory that wants to be committed to the github now but in order to sync this over we need to copy some lines from the github site so if you just go back to your github site you should see this right here which says or create a new repository on the command line so what we have to do is go right under this line right here we're going to go copy the git branch dash m main and then we're going to paste it inside of the terminal and press enter. And now we're going to have to uh, copy this line right here, go back in the terminal and press enter, and then do the same for the last line right here, go back to the terminal and press enter. So now we're going to have to put in our username, which should be for mine, it should be developer Jake one, and you would have to put your username right there. But for the password, something else has happened. So if I just go ahead and put my actual password in here, as you can see, there's something different now. Um, and this is what I'm pretty sure stumped a lot of you. Uh, it says support for password authentication was removed on August 13th, 2021. 
And this is because GitHub was having some, uh, I believe it was security issues. So they actually enabled a new um, two-step authentication for the GitHub site. Now what we actually have to do to bypass this is go ahead and first do git push dash u origin main, origin main, enter, and put your username in again. Developer Jake is mine. And that's your username for GitHub, by the way. And then for the password, we're going to go back to the GitHub site and we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. So first of all, go over to your icon up here at the very top right, and then go down to where it says settings. And now come to where it says developer settings. And we're going to go to personal access tokens. And then go ahead and cr create right up here, press generate new token. In the note area, call it my token. And let's go ahead and put the expiration at 90 days. And then what we're gonna have to do is press the one right here that says repo, press the one right here that says admin org, and press the one that says delete repo, which should be right down here. And then press generate token. And now we have a super secret key. This is just a tutorial, so I'm okay showing my key, but for all of you, you should not show your key to anyone else. This is very, very secret. So copy your key and then bring it over to the GitHub area and paste your key in and now press enter. And as you can see, the Git has immediately pushed it. And if we go back to our GitHub repository over here, by coming over here, pressing the username and going to your repositories, and then we go to my repository, as you can see, it's now officially committed. So yeah, that was basically how you commit it in 2021 because they did add some updates that made it really hard to actually push your GitHub folder to your GitHub repository. So um, yeah, and um, just to let you know how to actually push this whenever you make changes, let's say if I open my test file by just doing open test, and then this is just a completely blank TXT file. And then if we go ahead and type some things in here, let's go test, test, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. It really doesn't matter what you put in here because it's a blank TXT file. And then we save it, come back over here and do git status. As you can see now, there's something that says modified test. That's because we modified this file and didn't push it to the GitHub site yet. So what we need to do is do, first of all, git add. And what we're going to do is do dot. So now you've added everything inside of this directory into your git push. So if we go ahead and do git status again, as you can see, now it's green. And then now all we have to do, we do git commit dash m, and then we just do um, just testing commit. And then we have to go ahead and do git push. And now as you can see, everything is pushed and it has worked perfectly fine. So it's never gonna ask you for that password again unless something happens and you have to import your key into the site for the password. So if we go over here, we reload. And as you can see, there's a new commit here called testing commit. And if we press that, as you can see on the GitHub site, it says the same thing here as it does inside of my file on my own computer. So yeah, this is all the tutorial has to show. Hopefully this was helpful to someone. I know this was troubling a lot of people, so yeah. There you go. Um, if you liked the video and it was helpful, leave a like. If it wasn't helpful, leave a dislike. Please share this with some of your developer friends that might be having some issues. And yeah, we will see you in the next one.